Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside Heroes of the Falklands, a, uh, a modern era uh, game set in the, with the Lock and Load tactical system. It's by Lock and Load Publishing. Uh, this takes place with the, uh, the British and the Argentinians, uh, 1982, uh, uh, the conflict over in the Falklands. So, um, as with all the new ones, it comes in a nice large box. And see, so here's the Falklands brings you the windswept rocky landscape of the Falkland Islands or Islas Malvinas, as they are known by the Argentines. The brief but brutal war began on April 2nd, 1982, after the Argentines unexpectedly seized Stanley, the capital of the Falklands, and the island of South Georgia from small garrisons of British Royal Marines. Uh, its complexity ratings five, solo is seven rated. Um, take a look inside, see what you get. Always the nice artwork on it. All right, Let's see what we got going here. First off, now this is interesting. This is a twist. You get two dice. That's the norm. But in this one, you get a six-sided and an eight-sided. I have never seen that before. Lock and load technical game. Very interesting. 85. Very interesting. See enough of these and you get to know what's different. Alright. The modern rules and scenarios. Being a, uh, a small um, conflict. Uh, I wouldn't expect this to be as large as some of the, some of the others. And yeah, let's see, it contains, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 scenarios. It's full color, as all of them are. Got your order of battle, tells you how to set it up, any special rules, any event markers, which I don't want you to read right now. Great, uh, great uh, period photography in the filler. All right. Let's see if this one has the nice uh, intro to play. Yep, they're putting date order, but then they recommend some uh, last gas pinned scenarios that you can uh, do, including uh, maybe uh, the devil went down to Georgia. Kind of partial to that one myself. This one got all dinged up in transit, but uh, I think it's because it's just such a such a thinner thinner book. It comes in at 42 pages. So this, a lot of the scenario books are 60, 70, 80 pages. All right, you're going to get the core rules manual that you get with all the lock and load modern era games. Uh, full color manual pertains just to the modern era rules, which are going to be slightly different from the uh, more common World War II rules. Uh, it's indexed, full color, a lot of examples. Really well laid out. Now, I've not played any of the modern games yet. I have played the World War II, and it's, it's very easy to find. Uh, answers when you need them. So, there you go. Get a copy of that. You're also going to get a um, some counter sheets here. You get three counter sheets, it would appear. Alright, so we get this one here, which is just markers. Uh, you get upper, upper level markers. You get your event markers, which uh, trigger those paragraphs we we didn't see. Uh, you got hover status for helicopters, so they're off the ground. Um, or stationary, I guess I should say. Um, just generic markers, tank, hatch opens, closed. Alright. So it's the counters, those are 5 8 inch. And here you get your forces. You have 5 8 inch, 3 quarter inch, and 1 inch counters here. Um, yeah, I should check myself. I think I said these were one inch. These may be seven eighths inch. These may never go up to one inch. They are. They're seven eighths. So I've always been wrong about that. Apparently, I keep saying they're one inch counters. So you learn something new every day. What's an eighth of an inch between friends, right? Uh, so you got your hero skills um, and some more markers, and then 
your units. Obviously, I assume the British units are going to be in the brown to match the other games that they have. Well, this is interesting. So we got our, our Argentine units here. You got another faction here. Uh, but we have a boat. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a there's a boat here that is um, three counters, three counters long. Very interesting. A lot of a lot of things I haven't seen here before. With lock and load tactical, got helicopters, got pumas, alouettes, got harriers. Awesome. So three sheets of counters, and as always, these punch really, really easily. They're pre-rounded. Very little of any edge nubs, so you're not really going to have to do any trimming to them. And they uh, very thick, good counters. Never had any problem with these guys. They're with their counters. In fact, you can even put them in upside down like I just did there. All right, then we got our maps. Let's see what we got here. Got map 11. This is going to be a compound here right up against the ocean. Roads. A little yes roundabout here. Right, that's map 11. Map 12. Looks like we got a beach. Cliffs. All right. Also single-sided. Ten. Some hills. Okay. Single side. Right, map six and seven. This is a question I had a few nights ago about the uh, the heroes of the Nam. They skipped six and seven, which means six and seven obviously came in this set originally. Map six. So you got you got beach, you got a little uh, compound, and then you got some hills to work with. So I'll hold one, two, three, four, five maps. All right. And the rest of the reference materials. You've got a player player aid card. It's got your direct fire melee tables. Inside you got your terrain charts. Not a lot of terrain differences in this one. Just Handful here, maybe ten, and then your um, direct fire modifications and your ordnance fire tables, support weapon tables. The good thing about lock and load tactical series is once you you know one, you get to you get to you know what the charts are going to be, you know where they're going to be and where to find them. So you got your supplies for this game and you can play it. Um, so the rules reference card, double sided, glossy. All these are. A nice glossy uh, cardstock, uh, very durable. Uh, rules reference card just gives you a refresher with some iconography to remind you of key key rules. And it's a lot easier to work with those than it is to uh, you don't have to most likely go back to the rule book all the time. But if you do, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. So you get that. That's interesting. We have chaplains. Leadership can only be used to rally troop, and they are not eligible for melee. I've not seen chaplains before in a game. And they cannot make spotting attempts, so they're there with a divine purpose. That's awesome. Always. All right. So you get this is the. Well, this is no. Oh, that's just a fake map. This is the uh, skill reference card. Explains all those different skills we showed you. Uh, it's double sided, double sized. Again, I say it again and again and again. A little too big. It can be a lot smaller. But if you like it, there it is. So you use that when you want to use the skill for your leader or hero, as the scenario gives them to them. Uh, now we've got our turn track. All right, just for tracking the, obviously the turns in the scenario. A few little reference charts here if you need them. And then, Last but not least, we got our uh, the ordnance reference chart along with the rules for ordnance. Uh, this allows you to not have to flip the counters over to find out what their, their fire chart is. Uh, and then the sequence of play reminder, along with some key rule reminders like spotting, melee, direct fire, ordnance, so on and so forth. So here's the Falklands, a modern uh, lock and loot tactical game.
Uh, that's what you get in the box, is we just gotta go backwards. Sequence of play, and turn track. Let's go reference card. The uh, rules reference card, double-sided, uh, double-sized. The player aid card, terrain chart. Get five maps, uh, single-sided maps. Get three easy-to-punch token or counter counter sheets. So they're really nice pre-rounded counters. Core rules manual of modern era, and the modern rules and scenarios booklet. And then you get one six-sided die and one eight-sided die. It intrigues me. I have to look in those rules and see what that's about. That is what you get, though, in Heroes of the Falklands. Lock and Load Publishing. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!